November 7th. Okay. We're back with Hank. We've just come straight off the other episode. The back-to-back -back recording of the previous one. And oh boy. Oh, Connor, just give me a minute, all right? <laughs> but welcome back. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. And what an ending to that previous episode that we just had. Uh, yep, as you can tell, it definitely brought a tear to my eye. Um, so that sometimes happens. Um, but it was worth it. But next, let's uh, let's continue. But like I said, hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. And let's continue with Connor. To learn more about Hank. Wow. That view. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. What's going on with his jacket? Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Damn it. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. I can't take him seriously the with his arm and his coat. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Damn it. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I could kill you. Just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? 
Android Heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Oh, half Where locked. are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. A new path has just unlocked with Hank. Hank left Connor alone. I wonder if the other option was there for him to actually shoot Connor. Oh. What is he up to now? We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Oh. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Here we go. I we're breaking into another tower. I love that jacket. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access the 47th floor. Request access at reception. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human survivor. Oh, am I going to distract him? As a child, supervised or registered at St. Rose School. Well, there's our answer. Smart watch. Phone number 5558473. We use her number, call the school with her name. Get them to answer a call. speaking this is safe from school ma'am your daughter emily has a fever it's nothing serious but i think you'd better come and pick her up <sighs> oh no all right oh i'll be right there how to be the child right it's the easiest thing to go for i have an appointment with mr peterson do you have any id yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Easy as that. There was another option. Oh, maybe not. I 
thing we've always got to anticipate is there's always going to be other androids. Fine packaging men's bathroom. Men's bathroom, opposite side of where we currently are. These are nice offices. Imagine if we had these today. They wouldn't even last like a couple of days. They'll get vandalized straight away. Now we're playing Hitman. Access server room, find utility Android. fire escape where was the fire escape I think he's at the back end of this corridor on the right hand side. I don't want to go into the server room yet because I just want to make sure we can get out of here. Or maybe the, the others are waiting here. That's a bathroom. Maybe it's not over here. Bathroom. Meeting room. Fire exit, there it is. There are massive rumbas. Roombas. Watch your heels. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. I track guards away from door. Hey, you still play poker? Sure, why? Can hack that. Let's have a quick read first. 
Department of Defense uh, paused order of 50,000 Android troops. This supplements an estimated 200,000 units already in service across the US military. Actual numbers are guarded at military secret. Among these 50,000 new units are 2,500 mer Myrmidons, elite prototypes capable of infiltration and assassination missions that would historically fall the, uh, to Navy SEALs. The US Army's fighting forces are already compromised mainly of androids, with humans tending to serve as com uh, commanders and strategists. But even these politicians are supported by complex AI, leading some of the dis describe the US as the first full autonomous fighting force. Forget it. Just an idea. This has reopened the ethical debate around the androids in the military with some suggesting that machines don't have the moral reasoning to make life and death decisions in a field. Bob Woods, head of the War Victims NGO, described the news as troubling, saying machines are focused on a single task and don't evaluate morale consequences. Well, this will mean more civilian deaths. Century. Can she still lead the country? Barely a year after her election, President Warren is having a bumpy start to her term. After rising to prominence as a vlogger, Warren has no experience in government and relied on social media and celebrity to secure election. Now with her camp in disarray, even her allies are beginning to wonder how she will manage after several months of... Clamitarious... Uh, what did they even write to say then? Uh, political failures. Meridian uh, accusations that she's too close to big, uh, to big business. Warren is under investigation to determine whether or not she will uh, she has benefited from CyberLife's help in obtaining compromising information about her opponent during the presidential campaign. In the poisonous climate, the former celebrity must deal with the highest unemployment rate in American history whilst facing the United States' greatest threat in recent decades. The conflict in recent Arctic threatens to dislodge world peace leaving many concerned that President Warren is, one, uh, is the one task with finding the solution. I guess we're just going to have to hack this uh, thingy, aren't we? Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay, you do that, and I'll get on the windows. They're really gonna jump out. Maybe not. They've got an elevator. Ladies first. Maybe not. <laughs>
This game is amazing me every time, well, every mission we get on. The further and further we get into this game. Get the others. Call service lift. Evening, fellas. Let's do this. Destroy maintenance door lock. to the main access door. Deal with the guards. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Ruse him. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? What are you doing? Gotta be careful here, because one of these might kill one of the guys we're with. broadcast room so we're broadcasting a message aren't we from the uh, towers don't shoot Let's get our message out now. Stunts in front of Josh. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Here we go. Marcus, your face. in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own, but something changed and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to.
we demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand control of all android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. They're coming. Let's go. Simon, they're coming. I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon. Now! He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Let's eliminate his memory. They'll find Jericho. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. He is one of their own. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. He's gonna do it himself. I think it. I think it all. The message won't be clear to the world if we uh, if we shot him. Whoa! We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines?